I actually had started my first company when I was a teenager and was in uh, college. And it was a real simple little board game that I designed and got all the parts produced. And I sold a few hundred of them and did the whole thing on a few thousand dollars that I borrowed from my dad. And I lost every penny of it. And uh, you know, it was a crushing experience because uh, I had a lot of my, myself emotionally and creatively invested in this uh, product. So not only did I feel like a financial failure, I felt like a creative failure. So, so that was, that was kind of challenging. But the, the two things that I took away from that experience was, number one, wow, that was a lot of fun. I want to do that again. You know, see, if you're a real entrepreneur, you're a sucker for punishment. And secondly, I thought, wow, it was really painful failing. I don't want to have that happen the next time. So the next time, I'm going to be much, I'm going to be much better prepared. So part of the preparation has to do with the things you need to learn and the, uh, both the, the book and school type learning as well as the real world learning that you need to do. For example, you can't, you can't really learn in an academic environment about how to manage people. That's something where you can read about it, you can hear about, you can hear people give speeches about it, but you need some practical experience actually doing it. And you're probably better off doing that in somebody else's company than in your own company. So that was one of the things that I knew I needed to do is go work in another company for a while. 